Hello everybody, Andy here. So, um, it's the Ender 5 Plus and I'm doing an upgrade for the stepper motors. Some of you may not know, but inside the back of a stepper motor, in this part here, is a sprung washer. And what that does, it helps to align the, the rotors and the stators so if I hope this comes out on video I'm using this plate I'm gonna press down on the shaft and I'm hoping you can see it okay there's about three mil float on this shaft and when it's in this printer the weight of the whole bed assembly is pressing down in this shaft and it's compressing this spring washer at the back and to me that's not a good idea because if I show you my CNC machine so here's my CNC machine which is totally different so this is the step motor this is the coupling okay it's a slightly better coupling than what we've got but this there's a frame here that you can probably see and there's a bearing in here so there's no thrust being put on on this stepper motor there's no force on it the unlike the ender 5 plus the whole weight of the build plate is pressing down on this shaft and it's not a good idea where this is totally different the stepper motor is bolted here it's bolted in a in a frame here there's a lot up there and there's a big bearing in here and the end of the lead screw here is threaded and everything's held rigid it's firm so all the stepper motor we're doing is rotating it's not got any lateral or lateral lateral foot uh, no it's not got any end falls on it these are for these are just pointers as the step motors when they're unpowered you can easy knock them and this is just a finger pointer like this <laughs> on a scale so it's quite easy to see if you accidentally knocked your step motor out of alignment now if you obviously move this a fraction of the degree it's going to upset the level of the bed so let me take this off what my idea is is to put a thrust bearing to take the load of the off the weight of the gantry and not pass it onto the shaft of the stepper motor and thus not compressing the spring at the back of the stepper motor because obviously you know things are going to get warm things expand and I'm looking at this as an engineer so I'm going to upset my bed level by moving this around I'm going to take this off and now I'm just going to twist the rod up get it out of the way so I've got two penny washers here five mil penny washers and the penny washers are just bigger than the opening of your standard um, stepper motor plate however this plate is a bit loose if you see that around the stepper motor the one I made is very tight so I'm going to use two penny washers, put it on there, then I've got the washer that came with the thrust bearing, the thrust bearing itself and I need to just get a bit of grease for that. So put the second washer on, that's sliding around there nicely. Now how am I going to position this? So this, the coupling needs to just sit down on the bearing so I'm just putting finger pressure down on there and going to tighten that one up then as you're dropping the 
rod down you want to check alignment as well if you haven't done it when you're assembling so that alignment is is not bad it's just the way the uh, rod is hanging in the um, anti-backlash bearing up the top so I'm gonna continue to wind the thread all the way down and now I felt it hit the stop in the coupling the rod now has disappeared from the top of the anti-backlash bearing I'll just show you that so there the, the rods disappear from the top now you've got to be careful you don't make that drop down too far otherwise the top of the pom nut will pop off remember these these nuts are in two halves so now I'm going to untwist the rod so the rods now going to pull itself out of this coupling so and I'm going to make it level with the top of the pom nut you need to support the bed so it doesn't drop now I'm going to wind it back down again and see how many rotations I get before it bottoms out on here so one two two so that's two twists of my fingers just doing one two not full turns so I'm going to go back up to make the the lead screw level with the top of the pom nut and then I'm going to go down one so now I know there's a gap between the bottom of this, uh, sorry, the, uh, the gap between where it's going to bottom out in the coupling and the bottom of the rod. So let me just do that up. I'm still lifting up the bill plate with my other hand. Now I can't see the nut, so let me come around this side. So I now know that the weight of the bed is on the thrust bearing and it's not depressing the, uh, the shaft of the uh, stepper motor. So now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to put this back on temporary. doesn't matter where it goes so I'm going to do the same on the other side and then we're going to check level on the whole bed <laughs> 